In this video, I'll walk you through how to backup and restore a database in SQL Server 2012. To backup a database, first launch Management Studio and connect to your server instance. Then expand databases and right click on the database that you want to backup. Go to Tasks and click on Backup. First, make sure that the database selected in the dropdown is the correct database you want to back up. Under backup type, we have the option to perform a full, a differential, or a transaction log backup. A full backup backs up the entire database, including the transaction log. It includes all the data in the database. But the problem with full backups is that the larger a database gets, the longer it takes for these backups to complete. And also, the size of the backup file becomes larger. So we have the option to create differential backups. Now this type of backup, it only backs up the data that was changed since the last full backup. Since it's only taking the changes, these differential backups are usually much smaller and run faster. For the transaction log backup option, this backs up the contents of your transaction log, and it backs up everything since the last time the transaction log was backed up. The transaction log contains all the transactions executed against the database uh, since the last time it was backed up. This gives you the ability to recover the database to a specific point in time. Now since the differential and transaction log backups don't back up the full database, you do need a full database backup in order to restore your differential and your transaction log backups. A four hour backup will select full and specify the location where we want to store the backup. Here I'm going to create my backup in the C backup folder and call it testdb1.bak. Click OK and it'll create the backup for us. So now if we go to the backup folder under C backup we see that it just now created our testdb.back. To restore this backup we can go back to Management Studio, right click on Databases, and select Restore Database. So the first step is to select the source, and the source will be the backup file that we just created. So select Device, and let's navigate to that location and select it. The next step is to specify the destination. And by default, it's going to keep the original database name, testdb1. And if you leave it like this, it's going to restore over this database. If you don't want to wipe out this database, what you can do is restore as a different database name. So we can restore as testdb2. And the other thing is we need to change the physical file name for testdb2. So click on files and under restore as if we scroll all the way to the right you'll see that the physical file name is testdb1.mdf we just want to change that to testdb2.mdf and the same thing for the log file testdb2 underscore log dot ldf and once you have that we're set and we could click OK to begin the restore now if you go back to management studio and refresh databases you'll see that both testdb1 and testdb2 are available for you to use